Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Tuesday Tech Tip. And today I want to talk directly to the decision makers who truly care about their budgets and how much they spend on their storage infrastructure. So stick around. So for years, we have mostly taken the messaging in our educational content and directed it to help those users on the ground floor. I'm talking the system and network administrators who need storage or are already using our products and provide them with solutions to their problems. Now for this series of videos we're about to release, we want to talk about how to help solve issues when it comes to larger decisions like your storage infrastructure how to budget for your storage, and how to value your storage, the decisions that are made more in the boardrooms and not the data centers. Well, maybe sometimes. When enterprises are managing massive amounts of data that require performance demands to operate, one of the biggest challenges is keeping costs from skyrocketing over time. The need for data storage will always grow, but your budget doesn't exactly grow with it. So the question would be how to budget for a proper storage infrastructure so you don't a, overpay for a vendor, B, have an underperforming system that you are solely responsible for fixing if something does happen, and C, get stuck in a contract overpaying for an underperforming system. Now the quickest way to answer this would be to find a system that is scalable and doesn't overcharge for proprietary software to run it. Now there are many different ways that you can incorporate a storage solution into your infrastructure, but determining your budget is usually going to be the first question you should ask yourself as it determines the scope of what you can afford to have. Now there are also tons of determining factors on how much a storage infrastructure will cost. Is your application frequently accessing this storage? Is it for virtualization? Is it for strictly backing up your data with cold storage? It's also not just the hardware and components that come with the system, it's your networking, it's your hard drives, and it's also your warranty costs. Budget is going to be a critical part of your decision and matching your needs and your budget to an appropriate solution will be everything. Now, for the rest of this video, I'm going to be focusing on the storage hardware aspect of your budget. Now, at 45 Drives, we believe a storage solution cannot be a combination of these three things, good, fast, and cheap. You need to pick two. So if you want something with performance, it's probably not gonna be cheap. If you want something cheap with performance, it's probably gonna underperform over time as some components may be too cheap or performance will not match your expectations. Now, it's our job at 45 Drives to utilize our storage architects to take all the information given to us, including your budget, and deliver the best possible affordable storage solution for your application. So let's look at our options. It's hard to do this video without touching on the option of home brewing your own storage solution. I'm looking at you, Home Labs, on Reddit. If you have the time and dedication and utmost patience to put together a NAS for yourself, it's a great way to keep yourself to a tight budget and it gives you a more intimate understanding of your storage solution. But what happens when things break? What happens when you need to troubleshoot? Well, there's the internet that you can run to for help, but nobody's going to take care of it for you and your data could be lost forever with one small stupid mistake. Now, building one of these bad boys could cost you around $2,000, but how much do you value your data? Once it's gone, it's gone, and it's up to you to solve that problem. So let's go back and ask the question from the beginning. Am I overpaying? No. Am I stuck in a contract? Probably not, unless you give yourself one. And will I have an underperforming system that I can't fix if there's problems? Big chance. It's also not a scalable solution either. Then there's buying a single server to connect to your network. We're an open source storage solution provider. So for the many use cases environments that we see, we offer our ZFS single server options, which are much more economical and still provide a solid framework to grow your company's infrastructure. We have a variety of articles and videos that cover ZFS and its capabilities, such as snapshotting, encryption, RAID standards, and caching, all of which can help with designing a storage infrastructure that will work for you and your budget. Being open source, we are not just limited to ZFS as we are software agnostic, so we can work with just about any file storage software and we don't charge any proprietary fees to use it. Now, your overall cost will be greatly determined by your use case. So for example, if you're dealing with thousands of archival files for cold storage, hard drive and performance costs aren't really gonna bite you in the ass. However, if you are dealing with larger files, such as videos for surveillance, editing, high quality imaging, or any 3D rendering, the hardware inside the machine will need to be optimized as well as the size of the drives and the amount of them is gonna be much higher. These will drive your costs up and in turn your overall budget.
We offer four bay up to 60 bay storage servers that cost in the range of $2,200 to $16,000. With commodity hardware and open source software, there are no additional fees to operate the system and paying for a support package gives you the peace of mind knowing that if something does happen to your data, we got you any time of the day or night. Then we get into the big boys of storage clustering. So if your infrastructure is one that requires a massive amount of data that needs to be highly available at all times, well then clustering is gonna be your way to go. We've been highly recognized as the place to go for Ceph storage based on our knowledge of setting up these environments on a daily basis for customers all around the world. By clustering multiple storage servers together, a company is able to scale their storage capacity over time as needed and never have to worry about downtime if something fails, and of course, with support packages, you're gonna never have to worry about being alone in trying to troubleshoot a massive infrastructure of data. Now, with our single servers and clustering options, let's go back and ask that question again. Are we overpaying for storage? Nope. Are you stuck in a contract overpaying for storage? Definitely not. Is it scalable? Definitely and you have a knowledgeable company looking over your data should anything happen to it. If you really do value your data and you don't want to overpay yearly for a storage solution, well then this is always gonna be the best choice for your company when it comes to putting together a budget for your storage. So after all of this, and if you still are thinking you have no idea what you need, that's still cool. Read our digital guides to single servers and storage clusters, and then head on over to our website to answer a few questions and we'll tell you what you need. It's just that simple. Well, that's it for today. I've said enough, so stay tuned over the next couple of weeks as we dive deeper into this topic, including taking a look at how to value your storage and the costs of losing your data. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.